Hey guys, and welcome back to Halo Reach. When we last left off, we defended the Oni base. Now, it's time to have a little peek at the frontier and see what the Covenant are up to. Um, I have just recorded this video, but due to reinstalling everything on my computer and uh, adding another new boot drive, um, <laughs> I'm still finding things that aren't still quite right and the video it was totally scrapped and uh, is chucked in the bin because the audio is shit. I'm hoping things are a little bit better now, uh, but we shall see. Anyway, let's go. Mission 4, Nightfall. Yeah, actually, I don't think there's many missions in Halo Reach. Uh, I want to say there's 10. Might even be 8. I can't remember now. Because we're already feeling like we're pretty far through the game. But we shall see. What a wonderful night for a stroll. Also, Halo Reach has some beautiful uh, skyboxes. 2630. 26.30. Yeah, because Reach has a 28-hour day, I believe. Might be 27, something like that. Recon team Bravo reporting in. Three and six in position. Starting to get crowded up here, Cat. Then we're closing in. Report to any Covenant structures or devices. Direct action may be necessary. Copy that. When Cat runs an op, direct action is always necessary. Here, you may need these. High velocity, armor piercing. You'll take the hat off an elite at 2,000 yards. And they ain't cheap. I'll be in touch. I like that. And they ain't cheap. Well, luckily, it's not us that's paying for them. So, you know, it is certainly too quiet out here. Mm -hmm. Now, we can only actually hold like 24 rounds with a sniper rifle, but kind of like the truth and reconciliation on the original halo we actually start with more than double the uh, ammo on this mission which is cool that's one thing that halo uh let's just say the new halo games after the original kind of bothered me um the fact that they really limited how much ammo you could uh, hold also love the takedowns they added the takedowns oh hello Got live one here. Stupid grunts. Magnum's back. Magnum's good. Magnum's well. Magnum's iffy in reach. It's it's powerful, but it's not as accurate as it used to be. Anyway, if we come over here, be quiet, John. Uh, that is actually the hidden data pad. I can hear them all the time now, but I just want to sleep. It's been so long since they let me sleep. 2381. Uh, a suggestion from the majority to the committee. Traditionally, our creators have been reluctant to take outsiders' advice, nation to nation, culture to culture. Their history is littered with empires crumbling for want of simple openness to so called foreign beliefs and innovations. The question is, can this assembly still function as adequate stewards to our creator's latest empire and remain aloof? The answer is, we believe, no. So, could you not embed aspiration in the results of your research? Surely it would be more efficient if our creators believed our uh, conclusions originated from within themselves, uh, that they have been inspired rather than influenced. A question for the committee to the majority. Are you suggesting we play God? 
Mm. So there is a committee of AI that is trying to influence mankind for the greater good behind, um, from behind the curtain, should we say, which is interesting. Not sure if Cortana is part of that group. Oh, God. Might try and find all of the logs. Um, on Legendary 2, maybe? Or at least, um, well, that probably take me a very long time, actually. Uh, I might try and find them all and add them all in. Maybe do a bonus video at the end, so it kind of makes a little bit more sense. Hmm. Yeah, Magnum, it, you know, it is what it is. It's the old reliable. It's good. Don't know if this is the Spartan model. They made Spartan models of certain weapons. They're about 30% larger than the standard. We have eyes on multiple hostiles patrolling a settlement. Is what we're looking for, Cat? Negative. Too small. You're not in the dark zone yet. Engage at your own discretion, but keep moving. You heard it, sir. Oh, we're going to engage. Ooh. We have a gold elite. Well, I didn't quite take his hat off, did it, June? But certainly rattled him. Let's take these snipers out, because beam, rif beam rifles... Beam rifles sting. They certainly melt the old armor. And I need to be careful, because up on our left, there is a little passage coming up here. Get out of here, honestly. Yeah, they're coming up on the left. Let's see if we can go hold these guys back. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, yes, you are. Where did you come from? You've got a needle rifle. I like the needle rifle. It's a really cool weapon, actually. Might as well use this ammo up. Smoke it if we got it, I guess. We always switch to the MA5 up here. I have a lot of ammo to start this mission with. It's really nice. Uh, I wonder if we keep that ammo, if we switch it out. Yeah, we actually do. That's kind of interesting actually. Um, yeah, this ain't the MA5B, is it? It's the MA37. It's the old one. Ironically, better than the one in Halo. Uh, Combat Evolved. Because for some reason, in the games, they actually... Well... In the original game, human weapons were really inaccurate. Really, you know, and I really noticed that actually watching Jimmy's playthrough. Um, which is interesting because in the books, the human uh, weapons are actually deadly accurate. They're a lot more high tech. Yeah, we're always pissing them off. I can see the Phantom with a bloody concussion cannon on the end. Yeah, just stand there like a boss, Jun. It's fine. Yeah, concussion cannon right on the front of that thing. They really hurt. Yeah, so the human weapons are way more advanced. Um, then, to be honest, the games give them credit for. Look at this guy with his charged plasma rifle. I mean, you know, they're nothing compared to what the Covenant have with the plasma weapons and whatnot. But towards the end of the war, and definitely like you know after the war humans get some really cool stuff especially as they start putting uh, iron cannons on the ships which is uh, a game changer should we say oh hello got a golden elite here he might be a little bit more of a spicy mofo and again just like in the last video for some reason Oof, a starfish and grunt there. Uh, at least in the last video, yeah, same as this one. My grenade button isn't bound, which is really annoying. So, uh, one second, guys. I will go fix that. Try that now. Yeah, okay, so my grenade button was actually bound. It just was bound to the wrong button. Uh, what have we got here? We've got a hologram. Hologram is like worthless in single player. It's supposed to distract the enemies from shooting at you, but obviously the AI knows that you are not a stupid Spartan. Just run it. Really, Jun? Really? Just gonna walk straight 
in front of me like that. Uh, I think we got the most out of that. Let's go. Go crack some skulls. It's nice to actually have. Oh, hello, you sneaky little sausage. What are you doing hiding in here? That's not your home. This is my house. Did nobody tell you? At least it will be once I'm done with this place. Bloody hell, Jun. What the hell are you doing up there? You got a fucking rocket launcher or something? Alright, let's keep... Ooh, hello. Never too busy to kill a grunt, that's for sure. Stupid ungoy. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? There you are. Oh, no, you're not. You're a kid, you are. Not ungoy. Oh, God. Almost naded myself. Like a moron. Ah, uh, that's happened. Once or twice. I can assure you of that. Oh, hey. I think maybe the grunt was going to take this for a ride. Yeah, right there, buddy. Let's go. Come on, Jun. We've got a bloody uh, city to save. At least, it would be nice if we were here to save the city. Sadly, that is not our mission. We're here to see what these sneaky coffee bastards are up to. Let's just take a shortcut, shall we? This way, John. Yeah, terrible shame. Kill a man with a beard like that. Ooh. Hello. Oh, you... Why did my gun just fire two shots? I fired two shots. The gun actually fired three. There we go. S sit down. Take a seat, friend. Be nice to find some armor powers. There were there were actually more armor powers back there. There's like the active camouflage and all that kind of stuff. Now, active camo is really cool. Get out of here. But it's not super useful. Oh shit. Little sneaky explody grunt there. Suicide grunts. Although, luckily, he blew himself up, which is fine. They're allowed to do that. Ooh. No point wasting uh, the good stuff on these, that's for sure. Ah, hello. You can definitely have the good stuff, though. Ooh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright. Ammo is definitely more scarce than I'd like. Is there a... I think we've got snipers up on these buildings. Maybe. Seriously, dude. If, I'd, if I was you, I'd have stayed quiet, to be honest. I was going to chuck a grenade on him, but... We appear to be out of grenades again. Need more grenades. This one's yours. Well, you took his uh, chin off. I shot him in the ass. That's teamwork, right? That seemed remarkably easy. There's such a difficulty jump. But there is another one up here. There's such a difficulty jump between uh, heroic and... I knew you was up there. Between heroic and um, legendary. Huge. Yeah, nothing wrong with a bit of friendly competition, Milado. Uh, right, do we have anything in here? I'm actually tempted to go back and look for... Whoa, I don't know. I kind of like the armor power sprint. As oddly redundant as that actually is. There are definitely better armor powers, but sprint is useful. Let's go. Let's take our Traxxas this way, shall we? Oh, look, we've got some grunts this way. Now, I don't think we can use the actual forks on the fork. Ooh, on the forklift, which sucks. Come on. Come on. I'd love to pop a grenade around that corner there. But sadly, that's not something that we can do. Get fucked. Stupid little Kajar. I mean, honestly. Kagar. We always get their names confused. Kagar. Let sleeping dogs lie. Good game, actually. Never played it. Heard a lot about it. 
own it on just about every platform. Oh, these are, yes, wildlife. <laughs> We're not going to play with those if we don't have to. They're actually very dangerous. As long as you stay away from them. Might as well just sit here and enjoy this. Are you really just shooting that at me? You little prick. Yeah, these are indigenous creatures. These are nothing to do with the Covenant. But if we stand on this rock, they can't actually hurt us. It's actually a shame to kill these things. Because they're just defending their cave. Sadly, we need to go through your cave, dude. Oh, no. Did the... Okay, he's ragdolling. <laughs> he's gone. Dude, you're making me waste, like, all of my ammo. Okay? I need this ammo for Covenant. Not you. Ah, uh, Jun, can you do something about him, please? Seriously, one shot? I know these things are expensive, but come on, man. You can do better than that. Right. Guta. Right, we need to go back. Now, if you read the books, actually. Um, indigenous creatures are quite a thing. In some of the worlds that they go go to, for instance, in the book Oblivion, um, there's quite a funny <laughs> um, incident, should we say, with Master Chief when he was 15. So quite early on, um, yeah, he had a, liz uh, a lizard land on the end of his railgun, and it was obscuring his vision. And I actually started to try to bite his helmet because uh, it thought it was standing off against another lizard through the reflection in his helmet. It's quite funny. But he squishes it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it spits on his helmet as well, which leaves like this mucusy goo all over one half of his visor, which makes the battle a lot harder for him. Uh, <laughs> quite a funny little exchange. Yeah, there's lots of stuff, actually, in Oblivion. Some very strange fauna on that planet. I forget what the planet's called. A very good book, actually. Uh, most of them are, to be honest, the Halo books. They are pretty damn good. Um, yeah, some very strange flowers. Or, like, uh, fauna on that planet. It's a desert world. It's a, it's a horrible world. Um, not a very nice world to be abandoned on. Put it that way. Um, yeah, plants that kind of once shattered turn into bugs and little butterflies and things. Hmm. Great stuff. Anyway, the Halo universe is, is ripe with interesting little details. We've got oil derricks over here. Very interesting. Let's go, shall we? Yeah, we've got some more of these weird, like, ostrich things. I wonder if they are actually ostriches. Ostriches? Ostrich eye? Ostrich. Hmm, sounds like we've got some civilians up ahead. We do indeed. Let's go save some civilians. Oh, shot him in the fucking kneecap. Yeah. Yeah, we want to try and keep these civvies alive. Oh, nice. Which is actually harder than you think. Especially if you're playing it on anything above normal. Because this game doesn't really like, uh, like NPCs. Who's next? What have we got? What have we got? Oh, we're actually standing on a rifle here, which is quite nice. Wow! Two of them survived. That doesn't bode well. Yeah, so you get some extra dialogue if these guys survive, but... Look at that little bastard go. Oh, God. He took some rounds. Let's go get another top up, shall we? Where are my bullets at? Nice. Okay, cool. Let's go meet the uh, the locals. 
Wow, you guys actually kind of got destroyed. Who am I talking to here? Is the guy that I'm meant to talk to dead? Or is it because they're still Covenant scum? Oh, hello. You almost got one in the face. There's some dinner for later. Did you just say, how do you get that skill or something? What, shooting a bird in the face? Not that hard, really. Especially when it's standing right next to you and you've got a shotgun. Just saying. Where are these bastards? I remember doing this bit on Legendary when this game first came out, actually. It was a nightmare. I like the way these guys hide under here. I don't know if the AI just kind of fucks up or if they're genuinely hiding. Not sure. Oh, hey, guys. We have a suicide grunt. Don't want to sit next to that guy. Nobody wants to sit next to that guy. Right, what armor powers have we got? Uh, uh drop shield. You know, I like the drop shield. You Spartans are good in a fight. What are you doing here? Whole area is supposed to be evacuated. Didn't like leaving it to someone else to protect our home, so we came back for this. We have them hidden all over the territory. Ooh. What? You gonna arrest me? <laughs> no. I'm gonna steal it back. <laughs> yeah, let's uh. Requisition of stuff. That rocket launcher will come in handy a little bit later. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Uh, actually, as useful as this rocket launcher is later, it's not that useful now. Let's use the DMR. DMR is amazing. One of my favorite weapons. It's a good mix between the battle rifle and the assault rifle, I guess. As uh, a light sniper rifle, really. Oh, hey, friend. Bless you. Oh, man. Good enough. Good enough. Oh, I can't wait to see the new weapons and vehicles that are in Halo Infinite. They've also released a lot of uh, new screenshots for that game. And my god, it looks better. It looks so much freaking better than it did. You know, we did the reveal, we did the the um, first look trailer, me and the missus, and, you know, we thought it looked alright. Yeah, do you want better graphics, of course. I mean, you always want better graphics. You always want more levels. You always want more story. Um, but it looked, to me, it looked good. You know, we both enjoyed what we saw, but people whinged and it was a good thing because they've now improved the game quite a lot by the look of things come on you oh you little sausage ow he had me he had me i should have meleeed him really um they've also announced the film as well is it a film or is it a series i don't know uh paramount is handling it but before i get too excited uh, I am going to wait and see if anything actually comes of the film. Because let's not forget, they've been saying about a Halo series and a Halo film for well over a decade now. Literally over a decade. Back 2008 they started doing prototypes and concepts. Oh man. We're in the thick of it now. Should never really get in the thick of it on these difficulties, but... It's so much fun. Yeah, one thing I like about the books as well is that they really kind of illustrate how brutal the combat actually is in the Halo universe. I mean, here it looks all sparks and, you know, flashy colours. In the books, you, you, you read a lot more about the melted bones and burnt spines and all the good stuff. Uh, I might take the concussion rifle. These things fire like explosive bolts, but they don't, a little bit like the brute shot, I guess, but they just don't seem to be as good when you have them as opposed to when the enemy has them. As you can see, they don't seem to do that much damage. And the needler, the needler is as vicious as it always is. Okay. 
go requisition us a new weapon, huh? A needler. Not bad. Needler is a fun weapon. Needler is always a fun weapon. Apart from when it's not. Uh, right, how are we doing? Nothing here but that lake. Road leads to a hydroelectric plant, but the gate doesn't work. Wow, just two of them survived. Ooh. That's interesting. Yeah, so when I did this before, I actually had like five of these guys survive. Um, that's interesting. On the bottom of the rocket launcher there, it actually says uh, Mizraya Armory. Which is uh, the main manufacturer for most of the human weaponry. There's the riverbed, dicks. Let's see what it goes. Mm-hmm. Where does this riverbed lead? Straight to the hydro plant. We dammed this river up 45 years ago. Plant powers every settlement in the territory. Shame if it all gets wasted. Um, hey, the ostrich thing just despawned in front of me. Hold up. Copy dropship. Take cover. Never seen that happen before. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. We have bird and beard. <laughs> okay. I'll just leave this here. Indeed we will. Right, what gear have we got? What have we got? Uh, okay, we've got the DMR. Actually, let's take the DMR. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Kind of weird effects going on with these. That's strange. Okay. Right, so that's what we're here. That's what they're using. Hmm. Some kind of cloaking device, I guess. Right, well, let's start stacking these elites up anyway. Is this a waste? Yeah, maybe. Maybe a waste on grunts. Ah, turrets, yes. Prepare to die. Yeah, well, good luck with that, buddy. I have a feeling it's going to be you that's going to die, because, you know. NPCs are pretty rubbish. Ooh, on any difficulty other than normal. Which is a shame. I really wish they'd buffed them a little bit. Because some of the bigger battles you get in this game are great. And in some of the other games as well. Do you get some really nice um, large scale battles? But, uh, oof, I think that's going to despawn. And it's a shame because it would be a really nice weapon to use later on. But hey, it, it is what it was. We'll come back, see if it's still there. We've got the DMR, I suppose. The DMR is good, but it's just, it doesn't have that crisp. Um, head bursting effect that the uh, the rifle has this is nuts. yeah this is nuts welcome to reach okay, where do we, go now? we go up here where the covenant are dude where you smell the methane oh hello shields failed ah oh, we got an elite up there that's fine we can handle the elite who else have we got who else have we got we got a little grunty Come here, buddy. Don't trust these grunts. Last thing you want sneaking up behind you is a grunt with two grenades in his hand. Now, I'm pretty sure if these guys survive, they get extracted here. I think. But getting them to survive on this difficulty is not easy. 
and it's been a very long time since I've played this game on uh, anything that isn't heroic. In fact, probably back on the 360 at this point, to be honest. Ah, oh god, he's got a concussion rifle. Oh man, do not like, do not like. Oh man, that hurts. Damn, he's got to die. All clear, you say? Doesn't look all clear to me. Oh, hello. Kjar just kind of flew at me. Weird. All right. We're having some strange stuff happen today, guys. Very weird. But hey, makes the game interesting. Did he just... I think he just, like, grenaded himself. Which is pretty funny. Okay. So, now we're going to have a drop. Uh, this is going to be a painful drop. We're going to get two hunters put down here. Hunters are going to be a pain. Let's get the 50 out on them. Remember when you could just one-shot these guys? Oof. In Halo Combat Evolved. Ow. Yeah, they made hunters significantly tougher. Which is a shame. Uh, in the, I think in Halo 3, you could blow pieces of armor off them. But they kind of went back on that in this one for some reason. Not sure why. Oh, they're both down. Dude, nice. And we've still got a marine left. Well, a civilian, really. Which I cannot believe. Oh, God, yeah. We have the invisible brute, uh, invisible elites. Now, one thing to notice about the invisible elites is they don't have as much armor, which is nice. Bird survived. Hmm, I guess that civilian dude's coming with us. Interesting. Yeah, not often he survives that long, to be honest. Now, if this rocket launcher is still here, it's going to make this next bit quite a bit easier. Uh, if not, well, I guess we're going to do it the hard way. All right, what have we got? Mm, nope, it's despawned. Uh, that's a kick in the sacks. I don't remember weapons despawning like this on the 360, but then it's been a very long time. Oh, wow, it's only got two rounds left in the sniper rifle. Well, that's worthless. It's only two dead enemies, if we're lucky. A phantom? They're going to drop more troops on us. Oh, right, it's over there, that's fine. Uh... Bird, you might... Yeah, see, this is why it's so hard. Yeah. That's why it's so hard to get the civilians to survive. Uh, survive Because they will just, like, rush things that they can't kill. Like drop ships, for instance. Yeah, I mean, a civilian has no chance against a dropship, but he's going to rush it anyway. You know. Uh, right. We could go scavenge some weapons, but I think there's a little weapon drop up here. With a nice sniper rifle on it. At least I leave so. So, let's go grab this. Oop. Yeah, well, I mean, it's got a sniper rifle on it, which is nice. Nothing else, though. Uh, do we want sprint? Nah, not really. So these are the shade turrets. These things will eat your ass pretty hard. That's okay. That's why we have this rifle. Oh, nice. Double teamed him. Oh, I left him with a bloody headache. Yeah, we could really use some equipment here. Uh, let's destroy that. Finish up these grunts. 
start pushing their lines back. The only trouble is, this is a really nasty area to fight in. Not the worst we're going to see. But it's pretty bad. Yeah, I think we're getting warm as well, just because of all these uh, turrets everywhere. Well, that turret's almost gone. Come on. Just going to use all of my bullets to destroy this thing, which kind of sucks. But we really don't want that nipping us in the ass piece as we move on, because that sucks. Oh, elites. Sometimes it ain't the elites you want to keep your eye on. Like I said about those suicide grunts. Yeah, they suck. Oh. I think I hit the hitbox on the rock there. Which ain't fantastic. Oh god, look at this. Ah, well, yeah, we're getting shredded. That was a really bad <laughs> position to be in. Ow. Okay, let's try... Try that again, shall we? A little bit less failure this time. Look at this little bastard. Where are you? Ooh, try and no scope the guy. Well, scope or not, that did the trick. Ah, there's another one. You got him, Jun? Or do I have to worry? There's a shield for us to fall back into, get our health back. I like the way uh, a little bit of health regens with your shield. Certainly helps. Let's just say that. Right, cold jump. Push, push, push. Fight through the pain. Oh, wrong game. Oh, God. Not good. Stuck. Yeah, you really don't want to be stuck in this game. Ah, they got the turret back again. Oh, a whole health bar recharged. Cool. Not arguing about that. Right, let's do something about that turret. Can we get up here? Probably. Ooh. Nice to have you back to me. Yeah. Oh, checkpoint. The checkpoint gods have smiled on us this day. Yeah, nobody knows how the checkpoint gods in Halo work. When they smile on you, they smile on you. These turrets are cool. <laughs> Our turret must have been pretty badly damaged because he still won, even though I hit him more than he hit me. Or maybe the gods of uh, hit points were not smiling on us. I don't know. I like that. It blow the side of his turret off and he's still looking at me like a dunce. There we go. Let's blow off the side armor of that. Really? That dumbass was just staring at me? Nice. Okay. I'm going to have to stop after this video anyway because the missus uh, has just got a monitor stand arrive, which... I'm really looking forward to move faster. Uh, can't really move much faster than my dude. Oh, that was a excellent shot. Uh, if I say so myself. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Well, we didn't plan on stopping. Give me the shield. There we go. Okay, now we only have to go around this corner. Ah, the cat! Ow, the cat! The cat is climbing up my leg. Thanks for that. Ah, I know, Mr. Elite. Do you have cats on your planet? Probably. Chaos kitties. Maybe, you know, the Covenant wouldn't be so grumpy if they had cats. Cats make everybody happy. Apart from when they don't. Like this one. Oi, off the keyboard. Off the keyboard, Chaos Kitty. Now you're trapped up in my headset. Oh, you're a pain. 
Ah, oof, that could have been bad. Right. She's up the last of my... She's the last of this DMR ammo up, I suppose. Might as well. Can't take it with us. Ooh, pinpoint. Nice. He's getting you now, is he? It's a bastard with his claws. Anyway, here we are. Let's go see what the Covenant are up to. Tomorrow's going to be a very busy day. Especially as it looks like uh, Covenant are here for a full-on invasion. Not just a little peek. Things are going to get pretty hectic on Reach indeed. But anyway guys, that's going to have to wait till next time. Thank you very much for watching as always. Till next time.